And we're having sex. Welcome to Come Town with special guest Gregory. Today's episode is brought to you by Cracklin Oat Bran. Oh, really? My favorite cereal. You really like that shit? I love that shit. It was my first favorite cereal. Is that that little? It was the first cereal I was even aware of. When you could that you could have a favorite, and mine was Cracklin' Oat Bran, and it continues to this day. Wait, is that is that's not Grape Nuts, is it? Like no, the little no, okay. Grape Nuts is a completely different thing. Okay, <laughs> it's a different brand. It's not the word that I said. <laughs> I know, but I thought <laughs> no. Hold on, mm. hold on. Let me explain myself. Mm. I thought maybe Cracklin', Cracklin Oat, Oat Bran. It's not Frosted Flakes. <laughs> <That's> not... <laughs> no. We're talking oatmeal. <laughs> what I thought it was was maybe a generic version of Grape Nuts. No. No, it's crackling up brand. It's own. It's his own thing. Brand, not brand. brand. Is this like raisin brand without the raisins? Um. No, 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 no. <laughs> Describe no. it. It's uh, it's like circles, okay, right? Okay, I'm in. Oh. Brand, sort of squared circles, but then it's yeah, it's oat bran compressed into like circular shapes. Isn't yeah. that what it's sweet grape? Isn't it kind of like grape nuts? No, 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 no. It's like uh, it's like raisin, like bran a bunch of grape nuts bra- pressed raisins. into. Yeah, well, a circle. it's like raisin bran if you crushed up the flakes and turned them into circles and then added some like honey or something. Okay, to them. all right. When my mom went on this health kick, I like that. She stopped letting us have real cereal, and by health kick, we just never were allowed to have real cereal. But damn, she would buy plain bran and then allow us to put a little to bit of honey raisins. on it. Oh. Uh, so well, see, that's Adam, just, I said. Adam's I hate Jewish Depression era upbringing. <laughs> yeah. On the Lower East Side, where they all would eat cereal out that's of a true. boot. We lived in one tenement yeah. apartment. Back when the Jews were tough. Dude. They love writing stories about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Adam learning how to beat off the women trying to go to school. Yeah, there were about... <laughs> just women on the bus trying to go to school and the trials and tribulations of beating off to them. Yeah. Uh-huh. You only got a quick glimpse, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? And to beat off to them real quick on the bus before he goes to his job working for some Italian man that keeps calling him Kike Boy. <laughs> That's true. You ain't never going to afford the real cereal, Kike Boy. <laughs> <laughs> there were about six months where Jews were tough. Yeah, bo- they were they like did boxing. And shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, we've been coasting off that reputation for yeah. about a hundred years since. I then. know. You Jewish? Slightly. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you everybody too, was too. tough. You then. too. <laughs> but you too. No Italians. Stone no, just got that Stone. wild. There nose. are plenty of stones. It's like American are men are Jewish. so far removed from like the men that made American men have like. The identity, the that rugged they do. shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm such a bitch. Right, dude. I get sick every time I eat. Dude, I'm le- delicious foods. I've legitimately been staying up, terrified about this Australia trip, looking at pictures of spiders on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> like three, I'm like, the trip is gonna be fine. We probably won't see any spiders. And, and what do we do? And I'm like, I don't think I can leave America. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta the guys. safe confines of American <laughs> soil. <laughs> Nah, dude, I need, like, days to recover from eating too many po' boys. Like, I got sick uh-huh. again. Like, yesterday I was feeling kind of bad, night. and I still feel kind of, don't feel great. I'm going to go home and just fucking, Set just nap. For 16 minutes and it's because you don't take your, you don't take your pills. That's true. I, You're telling me. Have you guys Set ever finished antibiotics? <laughs> have you ever in your life Never. finished a course of antibiotics? Never. <clears throat> Never finished them? No, I do, like, uh, three days in earnest. Nice. And then I'm done. Yeah. And then I'm like, I want to drink or something, you know? And they fuck you up. Like, we're, we're making super bacteria, dude, by not finishing that shit. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I never treat anything. Nice. I just Better let run things course. fester. I take them all one day. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. Whole thing, right? Pound them. You right really in, like, kill those shits. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Damn, that would hurt. Uh, Have you ever finished an antibiotic, a course of antibiotics? Yeah, thing? yeah. You do? You yeah, you're supposed to. I know, but I never do. <laughs> why not? Because it's, I forget. I mean, I can't, that, there's been, I've been only prescribed antibiotics maybe twice ever in my life. What? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, I just. You never got sick as a kid? I used to get strep throat like every four months. No, no I never my get strep throat. I would get chronic sin- science and s- sinus infections, but I just wouldn't do anything about it. Mm, damn. I've been on antibiotics. I wasn't really a medicine head, you know? Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like you just, you, you get sick and then you don't go to the doctor and you wait until it goes away. Yeah, yeah. That's usually what I do, mm-hmm. but. Yeah. I don't know. It was it was interfering with my life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
I, I finished all the medicine when I got shingles that one time. <laughs> got shingles? Yeah. yeah. 80 year olds get Back shingles. on the Lower East Side when he was Back working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That Italian man. Yeah, it was kind of a shingles. Meat, at the meat hook factory. <laughs> it was a shingles. Look, we do, we do it. Look, we do yeah. one thing here, Jew boy. We make meat hooks. We don't get diseases. <laughs> What's come from the lesser races? <laughs> They let you fucking freeze it yeah. out. They put you in the fucking meat Adam's, locker. A- Adam's 1930s Jewish American uh-huh. story. <laughs> that the this in the second act, him and his friends scare a, a food cart guy, and the food uh-huh. cart falls down the stairs and crushes him. And Adam <laughs> ends up in a reform school, being sodomized and mouth fucked by uh-huh. Kevin Bacon. <laughs> what is that movie? Sleepers. Yeah, Sleepers. yeah, that was Sleepers. fucked up, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's about you. That it's is not me. a chill movie, yeah. bro. Kevin <laughs> Bacon is really raping those children a lot. Yeah. yeah. It There's is cool when they kill Adam's, him, though. Adam's life story, The Adventures of Faggy Marsh. <laughs> and it's yeah. Him. Who's and then your... Faggot Goes West is yeah, the second yeah, yeah. one, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I love talking about Five Goes West. <laughs> we mentioned Five Goes West maybe, I don't know, on 20% of uh-huh. the episodes, I would well, That say. was my guy, dude, because yeah. I, thought, I thought he was Jewish. Fuck mm-hmm. bull. Yeah, and I thought, I, I've said this before, but I thought Aladdin was Jewish when I was That's a kid, crazy. Too. Well, he was Gai- wearing the little Gai- hat. Gai- Gaival so cool. Goes Breasts. God, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Guy will grow his breasts. Guy will grow his breasts. You think Aladdin was Jewish because he was stealing from a hard Oh, by the way, vendor? Greg Stone right. is the guest on today's episode. I said that, Sob, I said that immediately. Said, oh, yeah, yeah. But he kind of said Gayig. <laughs> no, wild. I said Gregory. Yeah, we never. Do you guys plan things to talk about on your thing? We don't even have enough chairs yeah, I mean, for <laughs> our podcast. <laughs> well, that's why I like. I feel very comfortable here. That's the thing, man. Real comics, Riff City, baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't no, think about shit. Down. You sit around. With your boys, you talk about Adam's Jewish upbringing <laughs> yep. yeah. in Alphabet City. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> His family came over from Latvia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want city. my son to be a coward. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to grow up to be a coward tattletale. <laughs> <laughs> Don't disappoint me, Adam. <laughs> that is so fucking funny. You went from just like... Uh, the like dodging the Soviets and yeah. like having to know how to use guns and shit. Right, coming no, here, like, opening a glove yeah. factory. Yeah. <laughs> now you're a podcast no, coward. Do- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dodging the pogroms. Yeah. yeah, we had this. We had this Holocaust survivor come into school once and talk to us when we were like fourth grade, mm-hmm. and she was like, uh, "Yeah, they, so the Nazis come, and my mom gives me diamonds." She said, these are the family diamonds. <laughs> so I ate the diamonds, and then when I get to Auschwitz, I take a sheet, and then I go through my sheet, and I find the diamonds, and I eat them again. And we, were like in, we were like nine years old. We are like, yo, that's fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> you ate oh, shit. Wait, diamonds? What yeah. she did was just, <laughs> that bitch, the that's whole time she, she was in Auschwitz, she would eat. She was her own eating, shit. eating. She was right. finding she was the diamonds in her out poop. of her own shit. <laughs> in her poop. <laughs> Which honestly sounds and like the Nazis heaven. are just like, like, like uh, just let's just show people this woman. They'll get it. They'll get it. Were we wrong? <laughs> <laughs> were we fucking wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were like. She, they brought her to our school to like teach us like about. Yeah. You know, she's like, hold on. She shit diamonds into her own hand. <laughs> <laughs> she just kept eating them. Yeah. She's like, once you get the taste for shit, you can never eat. <laughs> it's like bears and human blood. Right. Once Jews taste shit diamonds, they can't stop there eating them. <laughs> barely enough shit diamonds for all of us to eat. And she's just got shit smeared all over her face. <laughs> we got in trouble. Like, the teacher got, like, we got yelled at for laughing at this Holocaust survivor <laughs> lid. <laughs> but we're like, you know, we're nine. Dude, we yeah, can't yeah, handle yeah. that shit. Yeah, That's hilarious. Just don't tell us about the Holocaust. We're not old enough to know about yeah. it. You know, I want to go back and watch the Seventh Heaven episode where the the son or the daughter discovers that there's a Holocaust survivor living like next door. Oh, I don't remember that. Like, the, t- the tattoos. Mm. Mm. She's got an Auschwitz tattoo. Oh, I bet that nice. one's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pedophile dad. That, that whole show is so funny. Oh yeah. I should I should go back and watch. There's a video project I wanted to do with that show that. Oh yes, yes. I need, to, I need to rewatch the show. Mm-hmm. Any excuse to rewatch all of Seventh, Seventh Heaven? Yeah. <laughs> Every episode of Seventh Heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica Biel, right? Yeah, that was her. Yeah. Got kicked off the show for being too hot, having big ass titties. God damn. Really? Oh yeah. She was on Seventh Heaven. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. You know that? Yes. She got her start. She was the dude. daughter. Yeah. And then the son was she that was guy a, Barry. Something. She was a nice piece of ace. Remember her ass yeah. in the Adam Sandler movie? Of course I do. Uh-huh. That's the only reason people watch that movie. Salute to yeah. That was a great. 
that was a great casting choice by the Chuck and Larry brothers. Yeah, yeah. Because it was like, yeah, we're going to watch. Her titties are not. She's uh-huh. like in a wet bra in that. You can see her ass. I love. I, she's in that Texas Chainsaw remake, too. Uh-huh. I remember that. Did, did which, she ever show bare titties? was critically panned. It definitely does. I'm going to go not bad. Skin right now. The the Texas Chainsaw remake? It wasn't mm. bad. People hate it because there's no reason to remake the original, which is like a masterpiece, but right. it's still good. Yeah, it's yeah, like a yeah. solid movie. Yeah. I Arlie know. Ermey's great in it. Who? Arlie Ermey. Great name. Arlie Ermey. Is that the Army guy? Yeah. yeah, Arlie Ermey was the uh, drill instructor. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, Arlie Ermey. In Full Metal Jacket. Oh, yeah. And he was on all the, those, like, TLC I'll rip off your shows. head and shit down your neck, that guy. And the guy from, uh, he was in the Neil Diamond movie with Jason. Yes. Saving yes, Silver. Thank you. I yeah. love that Saving movie. Saving Silver, the Neil Diamond AKA the Neil Diamond movie. <laughs> yes. I, I, I couldn't believe we you all knew that. It I was like, we all knew it immediately. Yeah, 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 we yeah, all yeah. did know. Yeah, I didn't want to mock you, but you're correct. That should be called the Neil Diamond movie. I mean, it's as close to... A quote unquote, the Neil Diamond movie, as you're ever going to get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's not going to be another movie that's ever made that's even remotely in the territory of being what you <laughs> About could call Neil Diamond. the Neil Diamond yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a good So, point. yeah, that makes sense. I wonder, is Neil Diamond a plot point in any other movie that's ever been made? There no. has to be at least one or two. I told Evan Williams that Caroline's on Broadway was a Neil Diamond themed comedy club. <laughs> uh, like the- Sweet Caroline, <laughs> yeah. and then that's why there's Great. diamonds on the stage. <laughs> And he was like, shut the fuck up, man. Really? <laughs> That's fucking crazy, man. <laughs> no, of course not. She was nude in a movie called The Sinner. Yeah. Jessica Biel. No, it's about- a TV show. Is that a TV show? She was hot. She pops titties out in show. a TV show? Was it on HBO? Um, I don't know. It was on like AMC, but they do whatever nice. they want now. I just remember she, oh, she masturbates her little sister in that show as well. How old is her sister? Jessica yeah. Biel masturbates uh, little her little sister. Little enough to be hot. Yeah. <laughs> Great Jessica Biel, <laughs> little <laughs> enough to be high. <laughs> <laughs> she was nude in something called Powder Blue. Okay. Yeah, she was hot in that too. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. All right. She shows titty. I got a nice day ahead of me after this podcast. <laughs> Actually, I don't. I'm going to stop beating off. Why? Because, man, I um. It makes sex worse. Yes. I've been I've been back to my soft dicking ways recently, and I want to change those. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, we might have another sponsor on the show at some point, but uh, I mean we're filled oh. up. We're filled up as far as ad space goes, but they're a dick pill company. Dude, yes, and we're we're, we're losing whoever. <laughs> God, they gotta go. <laughs> Bethy and I can kick fucking rocks. Dude. No, don't we say need that. The dick no, pill. no, 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 no. Come on, stop. <laughs> We can't make business decisions like this on the No, air. dude, we can. That's the whole point of this fucking podcast, is we just do so dumb first shit. First of all, I handle all this shit, and I will get us the dick pills one way or the other. All right. Okay, but here's the thing. Okay, all right. They all right. can't pay us in dick pills. Wait, I think I know. Are they real How about pills? this, bitch? They can pay me in starving dick yeah, pills. 100%. I'm not and impotent. You can, you can suck our now finally hard dicks. <laughs> yeah, dude. All just right. our rock hard cock. <laughs> one cheeky. Each. I got the left. Nick's you got guys the can right. get dick pills. I just, I, I'll take the money. You sell me the dick pills. I'll give you the money. There, there you know. go, baby. I can Actually, that's pills. right. I'll flip some dick yeah, pills. Yeah, you'll flip the dick pills. I'll direct during everything I do. Oh, my neighbor's Every back from jail, sex. dude. Oh, yeah? d- dick. Yes. The, 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 I used to think dick pills were kind of pathetic, but like, if you made a pill that just made my legs walk for me, yeah, <laughs> that's a great point. Yeah. Yeah. Great Never point. had to walk. It's great like, point. Oh yeah, I went on a thirty-five mile walk today. People are like, you tired? Like, no, I just took leg Viagra. Yeah. <laughs> and his legs and walk. You mad about dishwashers, too? I don't have to fucking do like, shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna build a pill that made my body do all the fucking... <laughs> fucking Sounds care. Sounds awesome, dude. Yeah. God, yeah. I took a... So I uh, was hooking up with this girl, and the first time we hooked up, it was fine, but it took me a couple go-rounds to get my dick really pumping. What is a go-round? Like yeah, what is a go-round? We're making out. She's sucking me off. We're about to fuck. Oh, I put nice. the condom on. As soon as, the, as, soon as dick skin touches latex... The boy starts. Whomp. Yes, exactly. That's awful. It's tough. You know, like getting up for, to get the condom and then your dick goes. And down? I know it's a Miserable. race against time. Yeah. Miserable. Anyway, we did get. We did get. We That's finally you gotta got keep a nice. The, the gun pressed firmly to your temple the entire <laughs> yeah. time. You got to know. So you style. Feel you got to know. There's yeah. one in the chamber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, the first time we woke up, I get hard, and it was a good. It was. It ended up being good dicking, but the second time. A good dicking. But the second time, I was like. I can't risk this. I'm going to try some weird 
DP like juice that someone mailed me, a random fan, <laughs> and it did not work that night. Uh-huh. And I was like, great, this thing doesn't even fucking work. And I couldn't even like that was a very pathetic showing, but I I made up for it with a real marathon pussy eating nice, sesh. Nice. You know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? And then I, it was uh. just a get head situation. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're both getting head instead of <laughs> fucking. Dude, I'm just funny. I was just documenting. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about it like what you had to eat that day. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck? I'm a, I'm, you know, I want to tell everyone. Everyone out there <laughs> suffering from having a fucked up little dick that doesn't get hard that easy sometimes. I'm here for you. Representation matters. Anyway, whatever. It was fine. Mm-hmm. Then, but that was, so that was the night before I was flying to New Orleans. And so... I'm like, man, that dick pill, I can't believe that shit didn't work. I wake up from a nap on this Delta flight, <laughs> and I'm just wearing, like, basketball shorts on the flight, and I am hard as shit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, like, kicked in 18 hours later, and just not in a sexual situation at all. Do you I'm jack off on the plane? stiff as hell. No, it was just my dick hurt. It was that uh-huh. hard that my yeah, penis hurt. And there's just, like, a woman next to me. I, like, I was napping, bro. And it was just like, you could just see my cock. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I did not. Dude, if you ever get a little bit of flaccid, I got yeah. this move I do every time. I'm listening. So I just watch Stranger Things. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then it's, I don't know what it is about that show. Like, I don't know if it's, like, the mystery. Yeah, but something yeah, about but that like, show the fact that gets like me hard as hell. So <laughs> that is so yeah. funny. <laughs> Boy, your dick doesn't work. <laughs> what the Have fuck? you tried visual stimulation? <laughs> I'm really into that kid missing a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> the little boy that looks like a lion. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know. There's something about it. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what yeah. it is, mm-hmm. but I get rock hard every yeah, time yeah, I watch yeah, Stranger yeah. Things. Are there any other shows that maybe have that same effect? Yeah, there was one with the old guy, and he, he had these two black children okay. back yeah, in the day. Yeah, 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 I don't know what it is, but that that's one too? also yeah, 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 yeah. What about the Brady Bunch? Does that ever work? <laughs> Only if... It's weird, because when the parents, I guess, turn me off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know why. I think because they have so many rules. I don't know. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool, man. I don't know, you know, but it's just like those random things I think are yeah, like. Because yeah, maybe yeah. it's like how people, some people think about baseball. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You think about children. <laughs> yeah. That's not the chi- it's not the children. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's media. It's media. Yeah, it's media. It's specific yeah. media. Yeah, maybe it's puppets because I watch Sesame Street. Yeah, that gets me going. Yeah, that gets it. Could yeah, be yeah. the puppets. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good tip, man. I'm going to try that out. <laughs> No joke though. If there was about uh, Breastomy Street, Breastomy Street, <laughs> all the Muppets Sick. got tits. Big ass titties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would Elmo's tits be red, or would there be tits underneath? No, his it would fur? be like just regular black lady tits. <laughs> oh, no, black out lady tits. Coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a black woman. Are all Muppets <laughs> black? <laughs> I thought so. I mean. Uh, yeah. Either black or Puerto Rican. It's yeah. like Harlem. Yeah. <laughs> Sesame Street is like 238th Street. That's it's just true. deep yeah. into the Bronx. Yeah. Way uptown. No, yeah. no, they're Dominican. It's yeah. uh, Washington oh, Heights. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Grover, what comes after D? Damn, Elmo, you stupid. Yeah. <laughs> With your big ass tits. <laughs> <laughs> the first season they kept having yeah. to ask the neighbors to turn off the reggae tones so yeah, they yeah. finished filming. Damn, Elmo, you dumb as shit. With your big ass titties. Them big titties, Elmo, though. <laughs> it's some big so they have, so Elmo's black titties. Mm. <laughs> Grover definitely has black titties. Mm-hmm. Snuffleupagus is already brown. Yeah. Big Bird's Puerto Rican. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bert and Ernie are just gay men. So yeah. I don't know yeah, if they, they would have They are in the regular show. Yeah. God, I would love to watch. <laughs> Bert and Ernie <laughs> 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 that you can easily do that. Yeah, I guess the internet's full of that. Yeah. Which one's the top and which one's the bottom? Uh, Bert's definitely the top. That's why Ernie's yeah. so chill. Oh, interesting. Bert's got all that pent up top. Bert energy. is yeah. the Bert's mm. the yellow one. Yeah. Ernie's the cool one. Yeah. He's getting fucked in the ass. Yeah, Ernie gets to be... Yeah. No, actually, you know what? I no, think I Ernie probably fucks Bert in the no, ass. No, Ernie, because Ernie gets to be fully gay, which is all he uh, wants. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. yeah. just to be fucked. Whereas Bert... He's, nah. a, he's middle-aged now. I think Bert really, what he really wants to go do is fuck 17, 18-year-old twinks, <laughs> which is in every gay man's heart. Yep, true. They just want to fuck young, hot ass, sure, but they, now they have to have relationships because they fought tooth and nail to get married. <laughs> right, right. They could just be having that party we were letting them have off the books. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You wanted to legalize it. All right, well, there you go, boys. Now you to pay taxes. Yeah, right. Now you're stuck fucking Ernie for the rest of your life. <laughs> Because <laughs> he pays half the rent. <laughs> the disability checks he gets. <laughs> Not taking his AZT. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know, man. I could see uh, Bert get it being the fucking getting fucked. No, no. Nah. Bert's like he's Bert's too he's too wound up. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. not yeah. like Bert. But Ernie, maybe that's Ernie. what it is. He's a sub. Because in his life, he's no, so... Yes, no, 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 no. You know what I mean? Can he just stop living to... out loud so much? Can Tops, stop Tops, being Tops, so... Tops hate themselves. Tops are like Bert. Because Tops still have this like need to fuck, mm, which makes them kind of not gay. I told you. <laughs> whereas, <laughs> whereas the bottom is like, yeah, just fuck my ass while I sashay around the apartment and not have AIDS. Or whatever. <laughs> This is an interesting theory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah, I told you. Anyways, 90, I'll 99 tell you this, man. Percent. You can fucking bet on it. <laughs> yeah, you can, right. you can bet on gay, what kind of gay guys are. <laughs> <laughs> the characteristics of other gay guys. And you can bet on it at BetTheSI.com, <laughs> the number one premier sports betting website. That I do not in, believe should kick rocks. I want to be yeah, very they, clear. I love this They can website. kick rocks all the way to... The uh, Hollywood Walk of Fame, where they should get <laughs> their own star, mm -hmm, because not should. only are they a star, they've never raped anybody. Which is <laughs> mm -hmm. The two prerequisites for being a star on the Walk of Fame. <laughs> Anyways, BetDSI.com, they got an easy to use, simple mobile mm -hmm. app. Nice it's an app that goes on your phone, believe it or not. You <laughs> download it onto your phone and play mm -hmm. Bet Win anywhere you fucking want. They offer live in-game wagering. You change your mind about a bet, you go ahead and fucking change it in the app, which is easy to use, by the way. I love that. Uh, I love that it's easy to use. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Me too. That's yeah. the thing that I really love. Yeah. Adam, what do you love about BetDSI? Um, I love the 24-hour yes. uh, customer service. 24-7, baby. 3 o'clock in the morning, you're gambling. Uh -huh. right? You're like... You call somebody up yeah. and you say, I, I, you know... Ernie could uh, fuck Bert, right? Yeah, Isn't right. right? <laughs> Can, where, where's the section on the website to bet on whether Bert fucks Ernie? Or... <laughs> Call them. Call they them will up. answer that uh, question. They, they are dying to hear <laughs> hundreds of people call in and ask them. <laughs> <laughs> ask them what thought what you click uh -huh. to bet on whether Bert fucks Ernie yeah. or Ernie fucks Bert. <laughs> they, Bet the SI customer service was designed to answer questions <laughs> 24 hours a day, yeah. seven days a week. Yeah, Pran, Pran deep in hybrid dad. Call is, him up. He's an expert on that. Yeah. Do we got any uh, fucking picks? Yeah. Or? Well, the NFL season is back, oh, and yeah. we got uh, we mm -hmm. got a real a lot of action. A lot of action. Um, always, you bet on the Ravens. Always, every that time seemed, bet that on the Ravens. Work, work out. <laughs> yeah. The Ravens. Look, did that work out this week? No, but we got rocked. Ravens yeah. rocked the Bills uh, week one, though. Yeah, did we get our fucking tushy smashed? Bert and Ernie style <laughs> Thursday night against the Bengals. Sure, this but I is what I would this. bet. If you can bet this, I would bet the. Bills to go zero and sixteen this year. Oh, you can't. You can. They have bet that. a. But I, I would think, not bet that. I think that they would lose to Alabama. They have no defense or <laughs> offensive line. I would not bet that. They are uh, pr pretty bad. I, okay, uh, Baltimore team. is is against the Broncos minus five. Lock of the century. Take the Ravens <laughs> <laughs> at home. Um, we are at home at M N M N T. Getting five or wait, we're we're minus five. Yeah, Damn, the Broncos, Broncos. kind of suck, dude. What? For real? Yeah, they're not that Are we good. getting or taking five? I can't tell. They should have lost to the Raiders this week. If they we're were. getting points, take the Ravens. If we're not, take the Broncos. Brilliant insight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if the we're mind, the dogs, take us. If we're the, the mind of a um, mental genius. <laughs> <laughs> and as you know, the NBA season is just around the corner. Can't wait. And Stavros and I will come in with some educated picks. Oh, yeah. NBA, don't be gay. That's the motto. Yep. That's right. And uh, that's BetDSI's bet motto, BetDSI too. BetDSI.com and use promo code COME120, capital C, lowercase U-M, 120. And you get a 120% bonus on your initial deposit. So you put down $100, you get 204 or some, $280, something yeah, like that. 240? 120% of $100. <laughs> Which, I think that's one hundred twenty dollars. That's one twenty. It's two. It's, it's like two hundred and seventy dollars. No, no, no. You're thinking it's two. So the, uh, no, it's one twenty. It's one hundred and twenty percent of a hundred dollars. One hundred and twenty percent of a hundred dollars. First of all, there's right? no there's no such thing as more than a hundred percent. Yeah, you're right. 
But how so, much have I been given? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. So to do 120%, yeah, huh? you do 100%. Mm -hmm. You can have 200%. And then something. it loops back around. Yeah, yeah to 20. No. So 100% is 100. No, you start off at 100 because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's already 100, but then it's 100%. So it's 100 again, and it loops back around starting at 100. So then it's, it's 120. No, two. Seven. An extra 120, two, a total mm -hmm. of No, because it's half of it comes off. Mm. So it's 50 plus the 20%, so it's 70. And then 70 is percent of 100 is 70, so you get $270. Doesn't sound right to me, but folks, check it out and let us know. <laughs> DM us. Let us know how much yeah, money you got. <laughs> it's yeah. it's going to be a good amount. Dude, hey, bet on it. Bet on it, <laughs> bet, the, bet the SI. You're going to like the way you <laughs> <laughs> When you're here, you're family. <laughs> bet the SI. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I Bet love DSI. DSI. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <clears throat> okay. And we're back. And we're, and we're back. back. Um, so well, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Bert, Bert is definitely a <laughs> yeah, yeah. self-loathing <laughs> homosexual type. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie's gotta, at the parade. I got to rewatch. I got to rewatch. Ernie's on it's a float. A He's wearing just like a silver thong. Dude, I guarantee He's you twerking. Ernie gets off from like just pure penetra penetration. What he just mean? loves it. Getting fucked? Yeah. Like Ernie, he, Ernie's he all jizzes. about If he's as gay about... as you say is, he should get off sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, if you were to declare that Ernie is, in fact, that homosexual, yeah. I would demand that he ejaculate from sucking dick. No, the dick. top, the top also sucks the dick because they got to prep the whole area. Yeah, you know, top. Then that. they put it. Then really, yeah. they suck nice. the dick. They eat the ass, and then I they could see them eating the ass. The what do you if you just do they, it all? I would do it all. Yeah, I'd, I'd get fuck, a little piece I'd get of fucked. I'd suck. <laughs> I'd lick. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's why the thing, man. You know? yeah. that's, that's this is why. This that's is why uh, us uh, straight guys don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> we can't understand the yeah, game. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a straight man would say that. Why don't you do it all? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> like, some people have like specific things that they. Have I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if. I don't know. Yeah, that's why we're straight. Yeah, yeah. Because we would so straight. I'll fuck guys. Right, 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 right. I'll fuck anything. I fucked. The Wiley Coyote I won at the boardwalk in Wildwood. Hell yeah. Yeah, I fucked this. She was like my size. I cut a hole in him. She, I fucked him. It was a man. It was anything. Yeah. It was a doll. I got Did hard Did you really cut a hole in it and fuck it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, I fucked two steaks. I never told you the two steaks. <laughs> yeah, this football player told me. Nah, no, shut up. Yeah, I swear to God. He goes, a vagina feels like two steaks. So we took two steaks that were my father had fucking defrosting. Where the fuck are my steaks? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, here there. they are. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> Some somebody, somebody already prepped the Bernays sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that I think the first step of, in gay sex is you lock eyes. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then the second step is you say, what part of the boot are you from? Mm -hmm. what, where are you from in, in Italy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they say where their people are from. Mm -hmm. And then they just uh, prep the area, maybe do a little... Uh, yeah, thing. great riff, Dick cute, sucking. real yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, let's go back to Greg is fucking steaks. Greg, right? Yeah, yeah Greg. So had, Greg was having sex with steaks. I'm fucking these, so I'm fuck, so I'm fucking these steaks. <laughs> 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 this is a wild story. Uh, I fucked him, and then my stepfather came downstairs, and he was just like, he literally was like. What the fuck with the yeah. steaks? You go, we got rules just right. Got <laughs> mad. <laughs> and we, you know, we ate them. You, you ate, ate the steaks? because yeah, I'm not going to admit that I fucked the steaks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you wash them? Oh, yeah. gonna, and he knew, I swear to God, he knew. Because he was making eye contact with me. Like, now you got to fucking eat them. What the fuck? <laughs> well, we cooked them. You cooked it off. <laughs> you cook it off. <laughs> that is fun. What do you want, man? It was a game of fucking. He knew. We all knew. It was a game. But nobody was going to fucking admit it, it so we all ate Chicken him. and you all just crashed into your cock. That's like Bert's yeah. origin story. <laughs> How Bert became gay and why he's such a self loathing homosexual. He was forced to eat his own cum by his stepdad. That is unfucking. Did you wash the steaks? Yeah, he like put them in the oven. 
It's like yeah, a young, you, a you young, wash them, a young like thirteen-year-old the bird like, and his friend just experimenting uh-huh. and sucking his friend's dick. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, I don't know if I'm really into this, but I guess we can try it." And his stepdad like barges in. He's like, "What are you doing, you little fucking queer? Okay, we're gonna treat it like cigarettes. You want to suck a dick? I got everybody from the local five twelve coming over tomorrow night for poker, and you're gonna suck every one of their fucking cocks." And it's a young bird being. Just brutally raped Let's... by an, an entire union. Yeah. <laughs> and he thinks about that every time he penetrates Ernie. He's like, who's gay now? <laughs> who's gay now? And Ernie's like, I am, Bert. He's like, shut the fuck up! But we're gay together, Bert. Just shut up, Bertie! Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <laughs> oh, that's incredible, dude. You didn't come on the stakes, did you? That's what I was asking. I mean, like, what do you think? Of course you did. (laughs) So that's what I'm saying. Did you you wipe them (laughs) off or something? Uh, well, like I didn't. I was just like you know, you fucked them, and then you just kind of. I was gonna, you know, you know. What? What? Did you take the? Did you wipe the cum off? <laughs> yeah, where's the cum? Oh, there was no cum on the stage. Okay, there was no cum. You so wiped them off. Cock, okay, okay. We like, wiped them off, and like, cock debris is all that's on yeah. the stage. Also, you, well, you think about it. The, 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 no, 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 no. no huh? A dick Greg? is a dick is like cleaner than most of your body because like. You know, I mean, a dog's mouth doesn't have any bacteria. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so like technically the cleanest. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. That's like my dick in Damn, a dog's my mouth. ass is so clean too. Then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Unless there was like some sort of toxicity to the peanut butter, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's why. So, did you fuck them yourself, or was your friend who told you about fucking steaks there also? No, see, he wasn't. He was like, a, he was telling everybody he was like the cool kid in town, God, and I overheard it. Oh, and I was like, well, I'll take this home. So for this me. is secondhand knowledge. Yeah. You, didn't, wait, you weren't wait, even doing this to tell him yeah, yeah. about it. <laughs> no, you just like that's a good. <laughs> how old are you again? <laughs> uh, 13, 12, young, 12, 13, 12. No, 13. how old are you now? Thirty-seven. Okay, so I'm trying. I'm trying to place. Is this pre or post internet? Way pre, yeah, way, yeah, yeah. way pre. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, nice. Wait, you kids don't have weird situations like that. Anymore. No, because they can just Google they like just what does vagina the feel like. Oh yeah, there's eight year olds now that are like thirty seven year old homosexuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> where they're yeah. like, well, you know, I know exactly what I'm into. Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. Like I've been in a relationship with Marcus since um, probably last San Gennaro. That's where we met. I was with my family. I was seven, and you know we locked eyes. He was helping Tony Danza uh, stuff cannolis. But you guys are younger. You guys fucked weird shit when you were younger, right? I no, I never really, fucked yeah, things. pillows. Why not? I didn't fucked even find. No, I always just beat off. I like figured out how to beat off when I was like nine or ten. Oh, man. I thought about trying the American Pie thing, but no joke, I was too fat to do that to a pie. <laughs> there was one time where I very seriously considered fucking one of those. It wasn't a whole pie; I didn't have you know access. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But those little, remember those little snack pies? Yeah. You guys remember those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like those the auntie, ruled. auntie grandmas. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Those, those are those were good. Yeah. Those are incredible. They still have them at the bodega. Yeah, really? yeah. Ooh, See, I that's gotta... what pissed me off because when that movie came out, I had already fucked the steaks, and I was like, "It's not a fucking pie. It's steaks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not enough consistency." Sure, the pie. Steaks. What are you we're, doing? If one more time, we're going to ask you to leave the theater. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can't yell at the screen. <laughs> Greg keeps pitching. <laughs> Greg keeps pitching American ribeye. <laughs> 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 it's like, wait, it's the exact same movie. Movie, but he fucks two steaks. <laughs> yep. You don't even have their act. You don't even have character names. It just says Shannon Elizabeth mm-hmm. and, 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 and the guy from the Neil Diamond movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Anything else? Was that the weirdest thing you fucked? N- um. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Is the I only currently... thing? Is it the only thing that you f- fuck inanimate? That you fucked and then eaten. Mm. Yes, that's the prig. Okay. That's the. That's the thing that makes it special. Huh? Dude, we're such great interviewers. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> Charlie Rose. Right, it's like we have a show. It's like Charlie Rose, but it's Charlie Hose, yeah. and then he he just pisses all over the guest's face. <laughs> He's like, my guest today is Donna Tot, author of The Goldfinch. Uh, we're here to discuss her latest work, In Progress, the story of a boy who discovers his mother's love of ballet late in life and bonds with her over it. His me Donna, too. Donna, uh, thank you so much for being here. Well, I, I'd like to thank you for uh, for welcoming me to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I begin pissing all over your face too early? I didn't know. Thank you, Charlie. 
<laughs> his Me Too allegations were so funny because he asked that staffer from his show to come over to his house. And then he went upstairs and he came downstairs wearing a robe with, with his, his cock out. out in the middle. <laughs> he's like, I don't, what's the matter? You don't... <laughs> yeah. Haven't you ever seen a man wear a kimono before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like to think that it was totally tied up, but it was so short. His cock was just like yeah. half down. <laughs> you know what I mean? He came downstairs and... <laughs> Yeah. Came downstairs in a Looney Tunes fitted in stewy pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> penis pulled through the fly. <laughs> What's the matter? Eh? Have you never seen a man in a Kmart Looney Tunes fitted in stewy pajamas before? <laughs> that was one of the first times a woman touched my penis is because I had these SpongeBob pajamas that were like this in college, and I was too much of a pussy like... You know, make a so real you would, move. You would pretend to be women's beds. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would throw out their mattress. You would throw out their mattress. Lay down on the bed box. <laughs> <laughs> Dressed up like their their children's sheets that they brought to college with them. <laughs> no, but I had the, the fucking <clears throat> the button popped off my shit, and my cock just popped out. And it looked like I just made a very aggressive move and just pulled my cock out while we were making out. But she was into it, so I was like, nice. So thank, thank, the, God, thank the Lord for that faulty button because yeah. I got my dick smurfed off because of it. Smurfed off? Yeah. yeah. She put, yeah. It's because it's small and it's blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was no... Uh, the circulation was completely cut off. <laughs> my dick... <laughs> my dick... <laughs> she had to breathe life in. She was just like massaging yeah. blood into it. She wasn't... It wasn't even sexual. It was like a, a baby that's born, like, premature. Were you like... <laughs> like was this back when you were, like, 360? Huh? Was this back when you were, like, 360? I was... 375. No, this was... Right before. Hell yeah, dude. The weight of the Xbox. 420. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 360. I was pretty fat. I was probably about as fat as I am now. Yeah. You were so fucking fat when we first started hanging out. Yeah, I was fat as shit. That shit it was so funny watching you walk to your car. <laughs> Waddle. <laughs> Just like, yeah. I remember me and my friend Brendan being like, I don't think he has knees. <laughs> but I had strong, resilient knees. The knees of a warrior. Yeah. The kind of knees that, you know, you motherfuckers could never support that kind of weight with your little bitch-ass <laughs> knees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we could if we had uh, no, like, no, spent no, a no. lifetime morbidly obese. Yeah. No, you could not. Yeah. You have women's knees that would <laughs> buckle under the weight of all the fucking beautiful fucking Look, that much warrior. No, you're forgetting. I do have a 140 pound weight vest that I can wear. I used to. <laughs> I loaded that shit up and I'd walk around it and I'd be like, "Damn, this is his life every day." <laughs> I guess that would put me at 300 yeah. pounds. Yeah. Or it would at the time. <clears throat> I've slimmed down quite but, a bit. Uh, no, I was I was not that fat. But yeah. My dick popped out of those. I, I got to get those sponge. They were very comfy. That's going to be my move from now on. What? Just wear pajama pants and have my cock pop out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little cock flop out. You figure it out, baby girl. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what to do from here. Should I get a tent? I'm going to do the Bobby Kelly move and get into camping this fall. Nah, fuck that, dude. Camping's fucking gay. Nah. I camping, like that's where it's at. Getting an RV. Getting an Airstream. Don't, get, don't put your sneaker on the, the the couch itself. It was for the art, man. I apologize. All right, yeah. Just, it won't happen again, but, you know, I had to get in the fart position. I'm already upset about people spilling oil on my fucking... <laughs> yeah, but and my would anyone couch. have guessed that I was not one of those people? No. No I, no, I didn't accuse you of it. I didn't even assume that you had done it. I know, it. but I'm saying... I mean, I'm I'm I probably proud. did it. I don't think it was anyone... I'm pretty proud me. of not spilling oil on the couch. Yeah. Yeah, where all the oil coming from? Anyway, look, about. one more question about Probably what Greg fucked. Probably a piece of linguine, maybe. Nice. You know, oh, slurping yeah. up noodles, and it just splashes Flies all through. over the place. Like I have that. to take my glasses off when I eat, because I'll just splash food all oh, over. Oh, yeah. Them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm a fucking dumbass. You know what I'm saying? I really want to know I'm what the weirdest thing... I'm one of these mental thing... retards, you know? <laughs> the psychology retard. I want to know what else Greg has fucked, man. So, Greg... He just, I mean, you know... The steaks, of course. The steaks, Wiley, Wiley coyote. coyote. Mattress, always go with the mattress. You know, you, you Those are probably the weirdest there. ones, right? But it hurts because it's got that metal lining. <laughs> And so, yeah, on the, the box spring? spring? Yeah. yeah it's like, it's not really, I had yeah, heard yeah. someone fuck a mattress, so I tried, and I was like, no, nah, that hurts. Greg, did you see the video of the man with Down syndrome in Saudi Arabia fucking the front of the car? No, oh, it was did. incredible. Yeah, it's, it's so funny. Video. It's this guy with Down syndrome. He's got to be four feet tall, and he's watching a video of like, pornography. He's watching porn. And he's just fucking the, the front of a car. <laughs> In this, daylight. In, daylight. Like in daylight. And this guy comes by and like looks at him, and he looks at the guy. 
and then just goes back. Up. <laughs> God, God bless him. The guy yeah. knows what he wants. He does what he likes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. What were you guys talking about with this model? Who's this model? There's a down the oh, fashion. The fashion oh, industry yeah. is now like trying to. Mm. Uh, Ramp up in. She's not even inclusion. the hottest girl with Down syndrome. No, there's hotter Down <laughs> that's syndrome. My, that's girls. my problem. Is like even in the world of Down syndrome, you picked like a, a three. Oh, really? She's not hot? hot? No, no she she's was. not that hot. Maybe I'm just thinking of the hot Down syndrome girl when I said I would fuck. No, her. so yeah, I, guess I like there's... that. Like you hear model with Down syndrome, and your job as a stand up comedian is to like be like, okay, how can I criticize? This? <laughs> 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 as, a, as a professional comedian, you can't just be like, oh, good for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I mean okay. it is. I just googled hot chick with Downs, and you get a whole bunch. <laughs> mm -hmm. you no, know, nah, that, that one's not right that for good. me. She looks like Whoa, Sherry O'Terry. Well, that's a baby. Let me see. It's hard uh, to tell if it's like a... Ch what's Sherry O'Terry doing now? She's probably insane, huh? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't know. I think that... Look at her. She's bleeding in the wind, you know? Not, it's like, not into it. Yeah, I'm not oh, into it, her. but it's like, you know... That's her? Yeah, yeah I guess... Um, this is her? There's a hot that's one. Her. Oh, she looks like a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's I'm not... I, I, whatever. I mean... <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? Yeah, it was, was weird. Like, like, oh, sorry. It's okay. The I wires. guess she walked in New York Fashion Week or something, but... Um, I watched an interview with her and her mother, and her mom's clearly evil. And she's like, "Oh, really? Yeah." I mean, she's like, just "Yeah." So she's like, um, "Yeah, she really loves uh, Victoria's Secret. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try and get her in, uh, you know, some Victoria's Secret ads." That's weird. And she's like, "Yeah, people are looking at her not because of you know her men uh, her men because mental she's defect. A no, but they're looking <laughs> at her because she's a celebrity now. Oh, yeah. and, but it's like Brutal. it's like." You're just she's just a stage out your mom. daughter, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. she she's like, they asked her questions, and she was like, she she can't really communicate. Like, her mom is basically. I guess there was like a picture, like a before and after picture of her that like went viral, and the fashion industry saw it. And they were like, we need this Down syndrome. They were like, thank God. Yeah. She walks yeah. down the catwalk looking like she thinks she's supposed to be stomping cats to death. <laughs> <laughs> very, it very seems heavy it seems incredibly exploitive, and it's presented as it's presented as inclusive. You know. Yeah. But, well, I um, think it's ableist not to want. Yeah, to that's her. what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to protect that girl <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> by criticizing her and, and calling her a heavy-footed drunken <laughs> pony. I'm trying to protect her from her exploitative from her mother. Mm -hmm. who, yeah. uh, We're who, not the bad guys. Obviously. The doesn't care about her as much as I do. Yeah. <laughs> the 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 observer of all of this. Yeah, it's, it's. You think if anyone was arrested for having sex with a mentally disabled person, mm -hmm. their defense would be like, "Your Honor, that pussy ain't retarded, though." <laughs> you know what I mean? You think that would stand that up like in the, court? Is David, being a inclusive? classic David Tell joke. Yeah, is yeah. that really a? Yeah, them yeah, titties yeah. ain't retarded. Them titties You're ain't right. retarded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah you know true. what you can do. I mean that that's like an Adam Friedland level. No, I mean what I yeah. think I was. You think I listened to David Tell? And no, stole I think it, it slipped your mind and you just didn't. Yeah, we're play. talking about. We've a retarded talked about that person. bit on the show before. So. Yeah, I mean, um, truth is the truth, you know. No, Thank but let's, you, let's be fair. Let's be fair. <laughs> Stop. If Adam had just said that, you would immediately jump down his throat. I would no, too. No, right? you you would have. That's my job, and you would have joined me. I, I probably mm -hmm. would have you know that. You know I mean, that. Listen, of eventually course I would have joined in after a couple minutes. I would have been like, all right, let's. If you didn't talk yourself out, I would have joined in, you know? <laughs> Me? No, I'm going 12 rounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, um, it's, it's nice, you know, to have that reputation <laughs> of, <laughs> of yeah. a remix comedian. And you did it to yourself. Um, Moving on. <laughs> you did it to yourself um, by doing those things. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the funniest part about that girl, just going back to that retarded is that girl, she has Down syndrome. Is that she has Down syndrome? Yeah, no, that's, uh, her, that, that's the that, funniest part. No, in, in yeah. high fashion, like I considered all of it, and the funniest part is her face. <laughs> <laughs> in high Throw fashion, through the like, program, we're going through the computers. The funniest part is how wide her neck is. <laughs> no, the funniest part is that. Um, you know, high that she has is traps kind of like Tom Hardy and Warrior. <laughs> 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 they do dress like actual models in runway shows, kind of like retarded people. Yeah. Ooh. So it seems They're like leaked. It, it kind of does look like with her wearing the clothes, like oh, this is extra wrong. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, also, I mean, you're trying to get the whole thing about being a model is like you want people to fuck them. It's like that's why you're, that's why you're <laughs> no, models. you just want people to hang the clothes off. Yeah, yeah, they're like that's why they all look hangers. hot. Yeah, they have no tits. Yeah, they're six two. You know, they but look they're not ugly. They're all they're the like highest level of you want to fuck them. No, no I, 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 I literally I much, like, well, you think models aren't you? There's not no. a single supermodel you could point to that I would look at and be like, 
Wow, I really want to fuck. No, that's that's there's some. No, no, that's not not true either. I'm okay. First of all, it's true because I'm saying no. You're me. No, 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 no. (laughs) You're lying. You're lying to yourself. No, I'm not, dude. Yes, you are. I've never seen. There's not a single model that you would really supermodel. No. Howard Banks in her prime. Come on, bro. I mean, yeah, that's today. Today. Yeah, no. Yeah. I would fuck Tyra Banks today. Heidi Klum. Heidi Klum? Hot. Yeah. Victoria nah. Sheen. No. Yeah. Oh, get the fuck out of here. No, no, that no, one, no. Leo, the Israeli Leonardo one. DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, Leo. Yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio. You gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be. <laughs> Bar two, Raffaelli. 200, at least 220 pounds. <laughs> for me to be like, damn. <laughs> damn. Yeah. Um, yeah, but like, I guess um, it, they're like... I guess they're trying to not have those kind of women anymore. My, my favorite is that <laughs> underwear company. Is, <laughs> the underwear company that's giving Victoria's Seat "quote unquote" a run for their money, according to like BuzzFeed or whatever. Mac, well, with, no, they no. had the <laughs> the uh, advertisement with like the girl with Down syndrome, and then the girl next to her has a colostomy bag, oh. and then the third girl just says vitiligo. <laughs> and it's like, imagine like you're the girl with vitiligo, and you're showing up to that shoot, and they're like, "We're trying to showcase people that are just like severely Freaks. disabled, yeah. Yeah. just like <laughs> the, just the fucking yeah. most abject." <laughs> You know, just freaks that you can fucking yeah. find. It's Carnies. Like somebody with a genetic disability that's going to shorten their lifespan and they'll never be able to live alone. <laughs> Another person that shits in a bag everywhere they go. <laughs> and you, the girl with skin that's kind of splotchy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like the Italian guy who shows her the diversity show. Yeah. <laughs> Which, anyways, I now we can talk about precious underwear. I love precious underwear. Yeah, I love, I love taking my underwear off. And then getting better underwear. You know, in fact, I've never worn underwear in my life until I went to MacWeldon.com and got underwear. Mm-hmm. Really? Is this an ad? I don't, or you yeah. Know. It's oh, an ad. We no, love just Mac talking, Weldon. Oh, I love it. We're talking funny. about Mac Weldon underwear. This is great. <laughs> Fellas, if you're new to underwear, you know, you're out there, you're tired of you. I was personally tired of getting just cuts and scrapes all yep. over my penis my from cocks. the inside of my zipper. Exactly. Yeah. I just yeah. never knew that there was an answer to just not mm. bleeding profusely <laughs> and just constantly just just scars. My penis is covered in scars. <laughs> For years, I didn't know that you could go to MacWeldon.com. <laughs> Your penis is a cutter. <laughs> <laughs> and to, yeah, no, no longer do you need to paint your shit in Joker makeup. You can fucking go to MacWeldon.com. <laughs> And get a pair of the most comfortable underwear you'll ever wear because they believe in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. It's easy. Point, click, underwear. That's They'll right. send them to you. That's their motto. Mack Weldon, point, click, underwear. <laughs> you go. You check it out. They got easy-to-use customer service. You call them up and you say, I can't. Help me with the website. I'm nude. Yep. Is I'm nude Bert in the Ernie, Starbucks. Does Bert fuck mm-hmm. Ernie or does yeah. Ernie fuck Bert? You call them you up. You call them <laughs> <laughs> Operators are standing by. Yeah. They got a line of uh, silver underwear and shirts that are naturally antimicrobial, which means that they suck up odor, right? Mm-hmm. So you smell bad, you know, possibly from all the dried blood that's, <laughs> that's been right. left on the inside from of your... your scabbed up nuts. <laughs> <laughs> You're just being scratched by your burly-ass denim that you have to wear. <laughs> on your way to your totally straight job. <laughs> <laughs> the other straight guys. <laughs> you put on that underwear, you get some smooth textures all over your cock. <laughs> With that nat- naturally antimicrobial mm. shit to suck the stink off of you. Love it. So check out MacWeldon.com and use promo code CUMTOWN, mm. C-U-M-T-O-W-N, and get 25% off of your order. And tell you what, if you don't like the underwear, you can call them up, complain about it. They'll refund you, and you can keep the underwear, no questions asked. Damn. MacWeldon.com, they're great. And we're back. And we're back. I saw a really funny um, porn title the other day. Mm-hmm. It, was, um, it said... Um, First of all, it described the girl as a dimwit. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> which is such an old term, right? Yeah. Like, like who's searching for dimwit on X videos? Yeah. So it says dimwit panel, nice. uh, panel sex, which I've never heard that used as a term before. Panel, panel. And one Pain, word, anal. Like it's, yeah, that's right. Sure, it's not penal. No, <laughs> yeah, I thought I, I, the penality <laughs> of anal. Yeah, yeah. Pain, no, no, it was like penal ass sex, which is kind of redundant too. Because sure, you, you have the anal element of the penal. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I thought it was really pretty novel. Yeah, that a dim. I've seen penal thrown around. You've seen yeah. penal on the my favorite. Yeah. I saw on, on, on X, videos? On X yeah. videos one time. It was some German porn. 
and the title was uh, just Titten Party, but one word. It's <laughs> <laughs> a German word for a titty party. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. That's my fucking political yeah, yeah. party. When I started, it was yeah, going to yeah, be the titten. Yeah. I'm it, moving it, to Dusseldorf and it, things. Yeah. Prime it leaves the titten party. Yeah. yeah. I we're, saw, the, were the titten party socialists? It's like, not technically. Yeah. In fact, there's a lot of misunderstanding in, in terms of what socialism meant back in those yeah. days. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. Where are you guys getting your porn from? Where do you go? What's your stake? I just want a new site. I've been getting back Thanks. into the imagination. The no, theater no you haven't. Yeah, I have. Really? Yep. That's what I'm trying to do. No. I guess I haven't beat off in a couple days. I don't watch. What do you mean? No, I haven't. What's with you guys challenging me on the? Well, I, I, I stand by my classic mine. lie. I don't. That that is a weird, that is a weird challenge. To he, use your imagination? Yeah, I, can I can't. Why I don't can't think you I, see Nick getting into his? Tell, tell you what, dude. I, I, Doug, I seriously have been. And my dick gets harder using my imagination. It, it takes a while. Because at first you can't do it. Yes. And then once you can, it's like, oh, that's been the problem is that I'm like, mm-hmm. I have nine different cams open at once of on course. Chatterbait or whatever. <laughs> and you're like, I'm masturbating to, it's like, I'm like the, ar- grid of the architect in the Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, there go, my penis will become hard before I even come. <laughs> before before my penis has even become hard, I've already come. It's a foregone conclusion. <laughs> What is he say? Vis-a-vis. Yeah. Vis-a-vis, my balls have a jacket. <laughs> Ergo. But yes, no, you're right. At first, you cannot get hard at all with your imagination. Yeah. Once you break through that barrier. You are the you, sixth you feel iteration. Like yeah. You are the sixth iteration of this hard on today. <laughs> and I will beat you off, and I have become very good at it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, um, for me, jacking off is like... Uh, a sweet treat these days because I live with my girlfriend. So, mm. you know, I can't jack off while she's there. It's rude. It's 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 incredibly rude. She's constantly jacking off while I'm there. Really? Yeah. But I have to accept not that. A man. I have to support that. I when I went back to my parents last week, I jacked off like all day long. Nice. I'd like you know jack off in the middle of the day. Mm-hmm. I, I told you guys. I told you guys. I use that fucking lotion that my because mom. Yo, know, that's did. right. That's right. <laughs> my mom had. My mom had CBD. Uh, lotion. Whoa. Like it had weed. menthol in it and he put it on his dick and then cried. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like for an hour, like my dick was in pain and it was about to be Rosh Hashanah dinner with my parents. Rosh Hashanah. Why do you have to say it like that? That's It's Hebrew. Say what Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is not how you say it. I don't Rosh give a shit. Hashanah. Rosh 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 he says Rosh Hashanah, and he I'm says I'm not Jaro. lying. You're lying. I do you're it doing it because you think you're better than everybody else with mm. your special holidays. I have my own holiday. <laughs> you know what the holiday tomorrow is? What? Martin Luther King Day. Yo- Martin Yom Luther Vandross Day. Yom Kippur. <laughs> Yom Kippur. <laughs> yeah. it, the Day of Atonement? The Day of Atonement. Yeah. And that? I have to apologize for people I've, to people that I've heard. That Simpsons episode where Principal Skinner's on the phone, he's like, well... I understand the parents are mad, Superintendent Chalmers, but I mean, it sounded so made up. I mean, Yom Kippur, come on. <laughs> I have to apologize Skinner! to all the people in my life that I've hurt, that you've wronged, which means that you guys are going to be getting phone calls tomorrow. I can't wait. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm will never, say, I will never pick up my phone when I see your name. I'm, <laughs> never. You pick up all the time. Never once have I picked up. I'm going to call up and I'm going to tell you, Nick, that I apologize for nothing. <laughs> For now, I, now I want that no. apology. Now you want to do not deprive me of those apologies. That's my, my sweet apology. <laughs> I want the apology I didn't know was coming. I'm now furious. <laughs> <laughs> I've been denied my apology that I'm owed. Yeah. Um, in nah. terms of pornography sites, though, Greg. Yeah. I think we're. It sounds like we're all just. X, X videos, videos X hamster. X video. No, yeah, you know I, what? I don't I'm like going to let you hub. in on some little secret. What is with the rating system on Pornhub? Shut the fuck up. XNXX.com. Mm-hmm. I've used that one for that years. One, shut the fuck up. It's an aggregate for all the other aggregates. I think it's just X videos. Ergo. Bro. Ergo. We have become very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> we really? I thought X videos was... Oh, I thought it was just X videos, but maybe I just find all the same... S- Videos because it's an aggregate. Why is Pornhub like the top videos on Pornhub are like seventy eight percent? 
The rating system on Pornhub, I, the curve is like a lot more. Worst jacking off session ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those guys. They have like, yeah, comic book guys that are yeah. like. Yeah, it's so funny the people that rate. Like, <laughs> <porn. No. laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, who's giving it the thumbs up yeah, and the thumbs yeah. up? People X videos to is like show, everything's probably. like. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's all our fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My po- become podcast is late, <laughs> and this pornography is not, not as good as I would like it to be. Yeah. It's labeled Panel, but what? she's barely yeah. screaming <laughs> in agony. Panel. Like, I like how a comic book guy easily becomes Jimmy from South Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, 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 way is the pornography not, not as good as it should be? Hey, 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 Timmy. Are you, you beating off today? <laughs> Um, what do you use to jack off, Greg, now that you don't fuck steaks? Well, I'm a, I do the lobster tube. Lobster <laughs> tube? <laughs> Actually, at first it's Oh, scary. I thought you were describing a physical thing, and I'm like, <laughs> you don't fuck lobster. No. Yeah, he's a 37-year-old <laughs> wait, 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 man <laughs> who just takes discarded lobster shells. That's a website? <laughs> yeah, and I was yeah. first I was scared. Because like I don't want anything to do with a lobster involved with masturbating, uh-huh, uh-huh. but it is just like a pretty good site. It's and, a pretty like, good porn site. They don't update it fast enough. Mm-hmm. But besides that, well, they do lobster, loyalty. lobster because it's red, and they didn't want to copy the you know red tube. Oh, that tube. makes sense. That's what I think it is. They use a lot of red tube things in there. I said that re- restaurant red lobster. I was always like. Well, that's what it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know? yeah. As opposed to what? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be fucking red. Yeah. That's a good closer, dude, for your act. Yeah? yeah. What, what's going on with your act now? Is it still the story about... No, I'm going not. You can stop it. Stop it. No. Because these fucking clowns, they just repeat everything you say to me just a thousand times a day. These fucking fat guys just telling me... Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. No, How about instead of a closer sorry, right. for me, it's a point for you to make in three weeks on this show. Stop it. <laughs> I just hear poo-poo caca a thousand times a day. Because yeah. Nick made fun of it No, one I didn't make fun of it yes you did no the what are these podcast guys did that's well then those guys roasted you (laughs) those guys got it well, they That's roasted where, all of us. No, but they like were, effectively, they, they roasted they, you. They played. Look, they reviewed our podcast. <laughs> they and played, played one your clip stand-up. of one yeah. line. They're like, now you From probably think that these guys, their stand-up isn't so much similar to the podcast. <laughs> but here, let's just. This is Adam Friedland from the show doing stand-up. It was a five-second clip, and it was very. You, th- you probably edited. think it's like uh, you know more mature, or whatever, not as juvenile. Let's hear Adam Friedland stand-up. <laughs> like, I did a poo-poo, a pee, a pee-pee, a cut. Did a, Poo poo caca, my caca. A bunch of, shouts out to everyone who saw me this weekend and came up and was like, "What's his name?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgot yeah, that yeah, bit. Yeah. I forgot yeah. we were doing what's, Dude, what's his, his name. What's his name is so yeah. goddamn funny. Yeah, my parents, yeah, yeah, yeah. my parents and I went to the New York, New York casino. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> my out of dad? context, what's his name is like the funniest. It is very it's funny. Good. It is good. Um, yeah, whatever. So. Yeah, fuck those. What is this podcast? Uh, yeah, actually, actually, I like, like them. What, is, what happened there? I think they're good. Yeah, there's, this, <laughs> there's this podcast of these like two dads in like Buffalo, New York. Yeah. They're, they, two, like, they're two. They're two funny re- guys that are good at podcasts. Chill. Yeah, they they're chill. Yeah, they review podcasts. <laughs> they make really good points, <laughs> yeah, especially yeah. about stand up comedy. And they, yeah. reviewed, they reviewed our podcast, and they just t- could not. They just they got so upset. They're like, first of all, they don't say their names at the beginning. Okay, so how do we know what's going on? You don't even they know don't who have these a song. guys are. They Man, don't I have legitimately, a theme song. I fucking laugh my ass off when they're like, look at this. Somebody just shows up in the middle of the show. And they're not on mic, and they have a separate conversation. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually like really you should get a them great to, listen. Yeah, you should get the you should get that bump. You should get them to do Red Dude. Games. Yeah, but I oh, guess yeah, it, it would have to happen like uh, organically. No, of course you don't reach out your yeah. publicist. Yeah. Check us out. Yeah, Greg, you should pose as your own publicist. Speaking of which, yeah. I, I rewatched. It was like in 2013, Vice did like a little documentary on like the on who is Dad Boner. It's like a oh, well, LA yeah, yeah. comic, this guy Mike Burns that had the Twitter account Dad Boner, which is like that video is perfect example of why you should never do anything fucking sincerely as a comedian. Mm-hmm. It's a mistake I've made in the past, mm-hmm. but if you ever like take your bullshit project seriously and talk about the creative process, there's no way to not look like a fucking stupid 100%. asshole. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, there's one part where he's like, you know, at the time on the account I had like two hundred followers, happened totally organically. Zero retweets, zero ads. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
man, please delete yeah, this. That that's sucks. rough. Yeah. I don't remember Dad Boner. Is he still around? No, I have not. I mean, yeah, I he know counts Dog Boner. Yeah, it's not Dog. That guy's hilarious. That yeah, guy's Dog really Boner's funny as shit. What's Dog yeah. Boner go? What's that about? He's, he's some good guy. Dude. Yeah, he's, so, he's one of those guys that came out of that, like uh, something awful, like uh, Fiat forums. Mm-hmm. Those are the people that were like the funniest on Twitter in like 2012. Uh, yeah, yeah, just kind of defined. Michael. Yeah, yeah, that's funny as shit. Style of comedy. It's not like that Jew guy. Which Jew guy? Fat Jew? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. That yeah, guy that's what he's in. That's what Greg's into. Is fat I Jew. saw that guy walking. <laughs> so I, like. I saw that guy walking around Clinton Hill, and I, I Did you really got him? upset. You should have fucked him up. No. It's on site. Fat Jew, if you ever see me on the fucking streets, bro, go the other way. It's on site. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to fuck your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking threat, brother. <laughs> <laughs> fat Greek coming for yeah, fat Yeah, I'm the Jew. fat Greek. Yeah, Fat Jew's, um, I guess he's like, there's like a clique of like New York City meme people that just steal, you know, comedians. That sucks so hard. Memes. Yeah, there's a, a bunch of fucking losers. Jerry, the guy Jerry. Yeah. Uh, uh, Fuck yeah. Jerry. Oh, Fuck uh, Jerry. Louis Katz is asking me if he can come on the show to promote his album coming out at the end of October. So I just said I'll promote it now. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, Everyone Louis check the out. Best. Louis great. And we're well, on the street. Is, breast milk. He did yes, So maybe the, we should have him on. He's in the titty milk, which I want more information <laughs> on. Because somebody told me that, and at first I was like, that's fucking weird. Because he like, looks like yeah. he does. So mm-hmm. you don't imagine that he does anything sexually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I guess he was in the titty milk. Yeah. And, uh, and then I heard subsequent to that that it tastes like cereal milk. And I was like, what? Yeah. Well, maybe Lou is on to something. Yeah, I was the one who told you that, by the way. Oh, were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I so maybe we should get him in the mix. Right Louis the best. You you, got, you know Louis? Hey, shut the fuck yeah. up, man. <laughs> Greg, all right? Yeah, Don't man, tell us who the fuck to have on the fucking show, all right? Yeah. Fuck you, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Drives a fucking Sentra, thinks he's cool. <laughs> it's a fucking Corolla. <laughs> it's a fucking Corolla, Greg. <laughs> Greg accused me of driving a Sentra. Can you believe that shit, dude? Oh, no. You look like a guy who fuck you. Like take it back, motherfucker. <laughs> Go fuck a couple New York strips. Yeah, man, I will. Yeah, they maybe, felt good. maybe you fucking should. Yeah, what kind of steak was it? Because <laughs> Adam and his his Lower East Side upbringing could only fuck uh, brisket. Yeah. It was a London broil. <laughs> oh, we oh, had this fuck this, we had to fuck oh, old fuck beets to pretend they were <laughs> these beets. The beets were steak, but all we had money for was old beets <laughs> and shoe. Maybe we live in poverty on on Orchard Avenue, where my family. We we are, we we fuck whatever produce we could find, <laughs> even though we only own seventeen buildings. <laughs> <laughs> My grandfather apparently his family was super poor, and they had borders like they rented out rooms in their house uh-huh. to like make the rent, and he claims to have fucked uh, like a twenty five year old woman. Yeah, when he no, was we were talking about this. Yeah, yeah. Gra- this is that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he raped mm-hmm. he raped her. My grandfather was <laughs> he was twelve. My grandfather grew young. up very poor and he raped <laughs> she, so this, many girls. This, in this poor this. woman was seeking shelter in this dilapidated Jewish home and then just a fucking horny ass teenager comes into her room Ties her up in the middle of the night. Teenager, he's and has, twelve. And has his way with her. This is in the thirties. When you're twelve you're thirty two yeah. at that point, yeah. dude. So, yeah, pretty cool thing to be proud of. Man. Might have been the 20s. Pretty cool no, thing to be 30s. proud of that you your get grandfather drill? sexually assaulted a woman. Can you stop down saying on that luck? about my grandfather? <laughs> you brought it up, dude. I just, yeah. You brought it up and described it and just didn't put the right label on it. All these people. Yeah, my grandfather, he actually held down and fucked a four-year-old Chinese girl at gunpoint. <laughs> It was like, your grandfather raped a four-year-old? No. Come on, dude. <laughs> you know people aren't going to let me live that down. <laughs> no, he did. No one in the Friedland family has ever committed yeah. sexual assault. Is that what you want to hear, Adam? <sighs> <laughs> uh. Do you want us to cut this part out? What? Huh? No, because just, they, they no. for some reason, they Do the think, sign if you want us to cut out this When we, we cut an episode, and for some reason, some people think, or maybe because you guys said it, that the reason we cut it was because my grandfather, we talked about how my grandfather raped... <laughs> no, we did not say that. But that's what people think. People think that. And then I was like, oh, yeah, we got to cut this because it's a deep family secret that my grandfather... <laughs> 
<laughs> he wasn't a very nice person, but he's certainly not a rapist. <laughs> Wait, oh, I don't even like it. That wasn't why we cut the episode? No, that wasn't why we cut the episode. We cut it for like a different reason. But for some reason, the next episode, we're like, yeah, we had to cut that because we were talking about Adam's grandfather. <laughs> 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 all those and How then just you, people Greg, are like, you never f- commit rape in your family? Well, besides me. <laughs> <laughs> See, Adam, that's how you handle that kind of question, man. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm know. sorry that we're ruining Rushana. Rushana. It's Yom, Yom Kippur. All right. Yeah, oh, don't Tomorrow There's we'll too many vowel, vowels. Don't you? We can maybe cut a couple of them out. Yeah, you, you have know? to buy a vowel in, yeah, in right. Wheel of yeah. Fortune. Guys, that's not that's great. These aren't consonants. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go all con. That's why, there's no, that's why there's no vowels in the original fucking Old Testament. It's only consonants. <laughs> they cost too much. Yeah, they don't have spaces or vowels because they're too expensive. It's true. <laughs> There's no vowels in the Hebrew language. <laughs> yeah. It's just drawings of like... Would you like to buy a vowel? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I've got a coupon, two for yeah. one vowels. Ooh, a wheel of fortune. And then they see where it says bankrupt and they're like... <gasps> <laughs> Stay away from that wheel. I don't even want the Kia Sonata anymore. Oh, fuck. I just want to add that my only contribution to this podcast mm-hmm. has been I masturbate to Stranger Things, uh, fuck two steaks. Yep. I admitted to rape. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That sounds good. That's what we call the fucking Dog. Trifect- the you've already, trifecta. You've already contributed so much more <laughs> than me. Than I, right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a that's a brilliant that's a, contribution. That's rich, dude. That's three for well, three. Well, here's the thing. You ate the steaks you jacked off with. That's we all big, ate them. Dude. Yeah. We all ate them. In a way, we did, man. Yeah. <laughs> and guys, you're from, like you're from New Jersey? Yeah. Yeah? Were you from New Jersey? No. No, he's from no, Vegas. No, no. But you said Wildwood. Yeah, Wildwood, New Jersey. Is that Was that your beach? It's one of the many beaches. Uh-huh. Yeah, Jersey's like got a beaches. lot of beaches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You ever hit up OCMD? Yeah, I think I have. That really? bar place with the dancing? Secrets. Secrets. Secrets, of yeah, course. Yeah, that's where yeah. Cum Fest is going to be. Secrets is the best. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, made up, I made out with three women in one night. Yeah, it's a lot for me. It's disgusting. Yeah, secrets. Yeah, no, yeah. I didn't know how to fuck. I was just scared. <laughs> But, like, you could come in from the sea. Like, it's yeah. got a beach entrance. Mm-hmm. So we came in via boat. And I just saw some girls like, what's up? And she was like, what's up? And nice. we started making out. And I was like, that's what happens when you come in via boat at <laughs> Secrets. Yeah. yeah. Those secrets. Keep those things secret. <laughs> <laughs> like Adam's family. That's, no, where, that's, that's, not, that's where his that's grandfather would hang out. Yeah. <laughs> He's hanging out at Secrets. He was like a cool dude. <laughs> He wasn't that cool of a guy. Yeah, you man. can just make out with any girl you want. They can't stop you. <laughs> How many girls have I raped? Uh, one, two, <laughs> three, Wait, four, uh, real? Huh? five, <laughs> six. <laughs> they count it, yeah. It's um, like two we, hours later. 273. <laughs> 274. That, that would be such a slow count. Yeah. Two hours later, he's only he's only at two hundred seventy three. He just stopped to think about how much he liked raping for an hour and a half, and then he finished. <laughs> um, we have not. There's nothing official on the books mm-hmm. about Cumfest being at Secrets, but. That's God, the we dream. gotta make it happen. That's next the year. dream, we right? We gotta now. have Secrets Cum Fest at Secrets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we could do that. We could totally book a festival at Secrets. Yeah, dude, we should do Cum Fest. <laughs> we should do Cum Fest, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But like off season. Yeah. December. The winter. <laughs> <laughs> freezing cold yeah. on the beach. Bro, no joke. We should go. We should go like Ocean either City for Maryland. your birthday or my birthday. We should yeah. do we should do Cum Fest at Ocean City, uh, Maryland <laughs> in December or February. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, just bring down, get a van, bring down comics from New York we like. You know, just put on, like, just do it like Greg, Snakes Fest there. where there's 35 different I'll, showcase shows with the same seven comedians yeah. on every show. <laughs> just a different spot. Lewis coming up. Okay, we're going to put you on first. And it's like, Lewis, this is just you pretending to be good at logistics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and all the stages have to be named after our sponsors. Of yeah. course. Yeah. All right, well, that's the show, everybody. Get excited. Get Stay tuned for... Uh, come fest we find, secrets in Ocean about City, about Maryland. Nashville? About no, we don't yet. Okay, but find out about um, what the 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 November Nashville. Oh yeah, yeah all of those the Nashville, Atlanta, uh, Charlotte, uh, uh, Charlotte, Chattanooga, Hattiesburg, Vicksburg. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> Are we doing Vicksburg? Bull Run, <laughs> Bull Run, 
uh, Appomattox. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, We're doing a uh, whole Sumter. Civil War type but thing. But for real, this weekend, please come to Chicago and see me and in Detroit. Uh, I sold the, the Friday show is sold out on the 21st. 22nd, and there's two Saturday shows. Let's sell those motherfuckers out at the Lincoln Lodge. And then in Detroit, in, uh, I'm on there on the 23rd of Sunday, a weird, like, 6 o'clock early show. But come hang out, and then maybe we'll have time to do stuff uh, later. And then the next day is Funny Moms? And the next day is Funny Moms on the cool. 24th. And, of course, listen to the motherfucking Rad Dude cast with oh, our boy man. Gregory. Thank you, sir. And our other... We had such a blast with you and Brendan. Dude. Brendan was fucking great, dude. That was a great Brendan's great. Yeah, you should have been more like Brendan. Yeah, yeah. I know, man. I was a little yeah. tired. <laughs> do you have, a, <laughs> I'm I'm do you have any plugs? Come on. Huh? Do you have anything to plug? Uh, check out the Rad Dude cast. Also, yeah, yeah on the Brandon one, we talked about how you're the funniest guy in the world. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, we sucked you off pretty maybe, good. Maybe, Damn, maybe man, not I really on the week, show, but I I no, stronger. you did great. That no joke. That fucking steak story is hilarious, Greg. Oh, thanks. That's one of the funniest things of it's all time. It's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so listen to that. Anything else, Greggy boy? Nah, man. That's just this is the Rad Dude Cast. That's all it means anything um, to me. Greg, yeah, Rad are... Duke, Dude Cast making their podcast festival debut at Cumfest. Oh, right. <laughs> Secrets yeah. Cumfest 2022. <laughs> Adam's dead. Surprisingly, me and Stav are the ones that live. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought? <laughs> yeah. That would be wild. If yeah, I Stav through. gets kitchen sober. I get mine sober. <laughs> Bro, if uh-huh. I could clean... Yeah. I mean, I'm, anyway. Whatever. Can you imagine, like, if you went on like a like a Matt Kazam juice bender, Hell yeah. and like got real thin, and you're one For, of those like, three like years of my life. those pussy necked fat guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, like your head, your skull already is became he the Vegas fat. guy? Who Matt Kazam? Yeah, didn't he move out to Vegas? Maybe I don't know. He's a good. He's a good guy. I like Matt. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that that is true you. though. He got really into juice, and his like whole social media presence was like, "Guess who's making juice?" <laughs> yeah, it's like juice again, and it's like, yeah, I understand you're not fat anymore, but I know I'm scared of. It looks that. like shit. I'm scared of that that exact thing, that pussy neck thing. Yeah. Like fucking, what's his face from uh, Penn and Teller, the guy who wasn't. Pen Gillette. Yeah. Well, his neck straight looks like yeah. a pussy. But here's here's the thing, straight man. Up. The older you get and stay fat, the more your risk you are of that. If you ever lose weight, mm, true. If you just never stop, you're gonna die at like 34, probably. No, if you not continue, 34. If you continue living your 56. life this way, 56. 56 at least. You think 56? <laughs> yeah, for sure. No way. Come on, Bobby's you think still alive. Bobby, Bobby was 50. not fat his entire life. That's true, but he's you need to look very at, fat. You need to look at Belushi and Chris Farley. No, they were also doing drugs. I stopped doing cocaine. Well, you were doing that much cocaine. Yeah, but I don't do it anymore. What do you mean? You did cocaine like once every two months. That wasn't the thing that was bringing you down. Yeah, but it's down. bad for your heart. That's what killed those guys. So balls. is eating a shit ton of no, food all the time. it was speed balls more. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people did as much cocaine as Chris Farley and Belushi, and that didn't kill them. It was definitely the fact that they were fat. Yeah, fat plus cocaine. Yeah. Only fat? Yeah, but... Make I, it to 58. Look, man, you're losing teeth. You're losing the ability <laughs> the to walk. has nothing to do with me being fat. <laughs> that, is not, that is not being because I'm fat. That was this freak accident. Technically, I did eat it on a chicken wing, so maybe in a roundabout way, it was being yeah. fat. With you, everything's a roundabout way. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to live to the beautiful age of 58 or 59 at least, and uh, Greg will live forever. <laughs> of course. And, uh, We're going to the same day, man. Adam will die Point. soon. And join his fucking grandfather in Dude, hell. I'm telling you, I'll be honest with you. I'm, like, I'm really excited about Cumfest. Also, as soon as, <laughs> as soon as summer ended, I immediately feel a million times better. Fuck yeah. summer. Now that it's fall, I feel great. Yeah, yeah it's like fucking, s- summer is such a bullshit season. It's been raining for a week. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Seattle vibe. Dude, I love fall. Cobain. I fucking love fall so much, man. Yeah, me Sitting too. Sitting outside, reflecting on wins and losses. I love it. You know, just accepting it all. That's great. Get mm-hmm. a little pipe. Yeah. Smoke some pipe tobacco. Yeah. You smoke a pipe, Greg? No, I just like to get you high. You get wet, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> you ever get wet, Greg? I like to get high on my It's deck. not about what you know. It's about what you can prove. Having you guys training over. day. I would love to come yeah. over, dude. How about, tra- tra- how about training day, but it's Denzel Washington Using a series of increasingly larger butt plugs to train uh-huh. his ass. <laughs> Training gay. Yeah, yeah. You ever get fucked in your ass, Jake? Pine saw, Jake. See, That's what the asshole smells like. I, I don't know. This ain't what I signed up for, mm-hmm. man. <laughs> Just on all fours, reluctantly getting plugged. Yeah. Do yourself a favor if you haven't. Look up monologue training, training day monologue, and there's nothing but 
and I'll start from the lowest hits. Yeah. It's nothing but black actors trying to do the <laughs> monologues <laughs> from Training Day, <laughs> and it's it, the range is amazing. That's hilarious. It just, there's like a. <laughs> There's some people who are outside in a leather jacket. There's one guy who's just at his kitchen table. I love he's those like, Jake! Things. Jake! That's incredible. It, dude, it's un. I watched I fucking, for hours. I love those. I, I found this Indian guy one time. I, uh, you do that with audition videos, monologue videos, yeah. and then impression videos. And there was this Indian guy I found one time who's like, uh, you know, it's like, Prakash Prinja Bajaniya does, <laughs> <Yeah>. does, <laughs> does fucking like Dustin Hoffman. And then it shows him in his house, and he's got this whole... Like professional VO setup with the mic and then the yeah. windscreen and the pop screen. And it's like, this is Dutton Hoffman from Kramer vs. Kramer. I can not have that mic. You can have that kiss, but I can not have my kiss. I do not want to get a divorce. I am not the one who wants a divorce. <laughs> just, yes. just so far off. I yeah. to get the That's yeah. incredible. <laughs> Man, let me see if I can find that guy, Dustin. Here, talk for a second, because this I wanted to see if I can put this in. <clears throat> yeah, dude, that sounds very good. The 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 dude, training day. You'll shit. spend. I, I mean, I I think I went to bed at like seven a.m. I love because I was that. like I just watched. Like almost all of them. <laughs> How did you get on that? I was messaging them because Anthony and I a thing. Do and I do a thing where we only watch videos yeah. that have under a thousand views. Beautiful. And like we saw one, and then we were like, "There's got to be more." Yeah. And and here we go. Just like this is yeah. Dustin Hoffman. Just, the Dustin Hoffman impression by Nihar. For the past six months, I've been spitting blood to get this agency one of the biggest accounts it's ever had. At five o'clock in the afternoon, we got the account. At eight o'clock, I come with the vice president who says I'm going to be the next creative director of this department. I come to the door to share with my wife what happens to me one of the five best days of my life, and she looked at me and says, You don't want to live with me anymore. Is that his wow. Dustin That's his Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> 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 he was setting it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's Kramer versus Kramer. I come to the door to share with my wife what happens to one of the five best days of my life, and she looked at me and says, You don't want to live with me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, his YouTube is Nihar the Artist. Hell yeah. And he's just got a million, like a million of these. And Incredible. ask him who, who's. Ask him about Bert and Ernie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go to him DM up. Nihar. Ask him who gets fucked. Here's his Bert and Ernie. His video, Five Hollywood Impressions in Two Minutes. Yes. So hell you, yeah. I'll play all of these and then we'll guess which ones are okay, which. Okay, okay. Mr. Dewey, Truman Capote from the New Yorker. Mr. Dewey, I wonder when we could arrange an interview. Sometime to talk. You know oh, you. it's the hottest when someone has a notion about you. <laughs> It's impossible to convince them otherwise. Ever since I was a child, folks have thought they had me pegged. <laughs> because of the way I... The way I am. You know, the way I talk. And they're always wrong. Incredible. That I cannot do. <gasps> We've known each other many years, but this is the first time you ever can read for counsel or for help. <laughs> I can't remember the last time you invited me to your home for a cup of coffee. <laughs> Although my wife was a godmother to your only child. I want to know what happened to the plans that they sent you. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. <laughs> 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 Last night we said a great many things. You said I was to do the thinking for both of us. Well, I've done a lot of it since then, and it all adds up to one thing. You're getting on the plane with Victor where you belong. This is fucking crazy. Now, you've got yeah. to listen to me. Do you have any idea what you'd have to look forward to if you stayed here? Nine chances out of ten, we would wind up in a concentration camp. Funny how? I mean, what's funny about it? <laughs> oh, oh, Anthony. He's a big boy. He knows what he said. What do you say? Funny how? <laughs> no, no, I don't know. You said it. How do I? I mean, these are like oh. a little bit, a little bit better than like the. No, the, dude, no, that's all unbelievable. unbelievable. <laughs> They're all just kind of close enough that you kind of get it. Well, yeah, you wouldn't yeah. recognize it, but do you know what the first one was? No, I missed the first. Philip one. Philip Seymour Hoffman, the Truman Capote, right? Yeah, yeah Truman yeah, yeah, Capote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like all of the impressions, you, you can't do an impression and be like. You know, like, hey, it's me, Robert De Niro. Yeah. Here I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here comes fucking Robert De Niro. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Fuck. People are like, is that Robert De Niro? <laughs> that was wow. incredible. Yeah. Oh, whoa, fuck. Yeah. Did I, did I, just I don't even. Here's me. 
You do not come to my wedding. You have never come to me before this. And you come to me on this the day of my daughter's wedding. Oh, well. My wife asks you for, for sugar you do not give her. And now you ask me this on the day of my daughter's wedding. As the godfather, also known as Marlon Brando. <laughs> Shouts out. So everyone, guys, please go check out the yeah. Rad Dude cast, and more importantly, <laughs> Nihar's impression yeah. on YouTube. <laughs> and, just, <laughs> and just absolutely abuse this guy. Just no. Blow up his comments. Only Adam is saying that. <laughs> yeah, just ruin this guy's life. All Dox right. him. That's All the right. show. Come see me in Chicago, Detroit this weekend. Come see us in Australia next month. Uh, thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Goodbye.